Welcome to the Family History Buff channel. On today's video, I will show you how to search and find vital records in Family Search. Hello, this is Murray Dalton, your Family History Buff. Hopefully you've had a chance to view the first eight videos. These will really help you familiarize yourself with Family Search and how to connect your family tree. This is our ninth video, and now that you're connected to Family Search, I'm going to show you how to search and find vital records on Family Search. To begin with, go to Family Search's website, familysearch.org, to log into your Family Search account. Once there, you want to go ahead and sign in. If you have never logged into Family Search before or don't have a Family Search account, I would highly recommend you listen to our video number one first. If you already have an account but you forgot your username or password, just follow the instructions on the screen where it says forgot username or password. Then let's go and sign in. Once you have successfully entered Family Search, click on the Family Tree icon on the top left of your screen, right up here. And on the drop down options, click on Tree. You should now see your personal record shown right here and a pedigree chart of your ancestors. I'm now going to show you how to search and find your ancestors' historical records using the Family Search search tool along with showing you the best practices and tips for searching historical records. First, you want to go ahead and click on Search, located at the top of the screen, right up here. Click on Search. When the drop-down menu appears, go ahead and click on Records, as shown right here. This window will now pop up entitled Search Historical Records. Before we begin, I want to cover a few tips to help you best understand the way search options work, which should help you find the historical records you need. Number one tip, have a goal, know what you are trying to find. Number two, search for deceased people who were alive around 1940 or earlier. Start with a broad search. You do not have to enter information in all search parameter fields. You often get better results when you leave most of them blank. Sometimes less information will help you find more information. And finally, expect records and indexes to contain errors, spelling variations, and estimations. Now I'm going to use my grandfather's name as an example of how to search for historical records. His name is Joseph Pretty Dalton, so I will add his first, middle, and last names here. So I'm going to type in Joseph Pretty Dalton. Now in the case that my great-grandfather had other names he went by, like a nickname or some other name, I will click right here where it says alternate name. It now gives you an option to add an alternate name like a nickname. First name, last name. And if you have other alternate names that he was going by, you would click on alternate name again. It gives you a second option. Click on it again and it will give you up to a third option. Of alternate names. Now note, search results ignore the order of first names. It searches by last name first, followed by the first name. Next you have options to search with a live event. You have search options to search by birthplace, by marriage, by residence, by death, or any other event. I have found that searching by birthplace is a good place to start. So I'm going to go ahead and click on birthplace. 
Now I know where my grandfather was born, but for example purposes, I'm going to leave birthplace blank and fill out an estimated birth year range right over here. I know he was born in the 1850s, so I'm going to put a birth range of 1850 to 1860. So I would go ahead and type in 1850 to 1860. Now note, when searching, increase or decrease the date range. Estimate dates and places. Sometimes you will not find, for example, where I put 1850 to 1860, I may not be able to find that person by putting that date range. So maybe I want to change it to 1840 to 1860, or 1840 to 1870. The secret is putting in various dates until you're able to find the records of your ancestor. Next, you have options to search with a relationship, right here. This would be used if you know a spouse's name, a father's name, a mother's name, or some other person's name that would tie them to your ancestor. For example, if you're trying to search with a relationship from your ancestor's spouse, you would go ahead and click on spouse, and you would go ahead and type in the spouse's first name and their last name. And of course, on a woman, you would always want to put in their maiden name if known. If not known, you would add their married name. Next, you have options to restrict records by country, or state, or province, or even by type. Click on type, and you have more options to search by birth, baptism, christening, marriage, death, census records, immigration, military, probate, and others. It does give you an option to click on match all terms exactly. I would only use that if you know exactly what the record should show. Now in this case, I have listed known information about my great-grandfather that should help me find some historical records about him. I've added his name, and I've added a birth range of 1850 to 1860, which is a good place to start. So once you have put the name of the person and any other search criteria that you're searching for, you would go ahead and click on search. This window now pops up showing search results from historical records for the name of Joseph Pretty Dalton. It shows 50,037 results for the name of Joseph Pretty Dalton with a birth range of 1850 to 1860. Now there's no way that all of these records are connected to my great-grandfather. That would be impossible. Family Search will always show the most likely records you are looking for at the top of this list, followed by the least likely all the way to the bottom of the list. So the most likely is going to be right up here. The least likely is going to be all the way down to the bottom. And there's other places that you can go to page 2, page 3, page 4, all the way and keep going to various pages. In this case, I do see three records shown at the top that I know are connected to my great-grandfather. The first record shows information about his gravesite, right here. The second record shows information about a Utah death certificate. And the third shows a record again with his middle name spelled differently. Now if I want to view any of this information, I would just click on the view icon shown on the right side of the screen, right over here. I would like to view my grandfather's grave information, so when I click on view, right here, this information pops up showing me the cemetery where my grandfather is buried, along with a death date and a birthplace, right here. Now to validate this information, you can see all of the documentation right over here where I would go to verify that this information is correct. 
Now once you have searched, and if you didn't find any information, you will then want to refine your search. Let me show you how. To the left of the screen, look for Refine Your Search, right over here. Try searching with only a first or a nickname. So in this case, I might take off the middle name, Pretty, or I might just leave on a nickname, Pretty, and take off his first name as an option. Or if he totally went by a nickname, I would go ahead and put in alternate name right down here, which would be his nickname. Try changing birth year. I might try 1830 to 1880 to give me a broader range. That might be able to find this person. You might want to put in any known marriage information. So you'd click on marriage. You'd put in if you know any marriage place or date range of when this person might have been married. You could put in any residence information where the person might have lived and the years that they might have lived there. You can put any death information in if you know of any dates and then put a range of that death date. You can add search with a relationship. If you know a spouse's name, go ahead and click on spouse and you can put in a spouse's name. And sometimes on a search I would maybe try only putting the spouse's first name in if that doesn't work, then take off their first name and put in a last name. If that doesn't work, make sure you put in a maiden name and see if that works. Search with a relationship by adding a person's father. Father's first name, last name. You can search by putting a mother's name in. Sometimes you can search by putting other person that other person could be maybe on a marriage certificate that you're looking for. It has the uh, parents of the spouse listed. Or it could be a witness. It could be someone else that's tied to that marriage certificate that their name is listed on that certificate. So maybe another name might help you find a record. You can search records by location putting a country in, United States, a province, a county. One thing also you want to try is various spelling variations. The historical records you are searching for are not always the same spelling you are looking for. So try various spelling variations that you're familiar with for this person's name. Some additional options to help you would be if you go ahead and click on type and you may be able to find, if you click on birth, baptism, christening, marriage, death, census, immigration, military, probate. Those are things that could also help as you're searching for information. If you use the exact search option and do not find what you need, clear the check boxes and try your search again. Even if you are confident that you know exact names and places, try your search with different events. Try your search with no events. Use the residence option to find records identifying where a person was living. Some records contain an address or last place of residence. Birthplaces, marriage places, and death places are not the same as resident places. Try searching with no years. Instead, use the filters on the left side of the search result to narrow your search by year. So sometimes even on birth year, it might be best just to not even put any date in there. Just search by name only. Remember, sometimes using less information will help you find more information. Now once you have refined your search, you need to click on Update right down here, and then it will update all of your information. And then it will start searching all over again. I have found many times, with a little bit of patience, you will find many of your ancestors' historical records as you use this amazing search tool on Family Search. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation, and if so, please subscribe to my channel, Family History Buff. It's the best way to follow me. I have more videos to view that will go through every aspect of helping you with Family Search and other ways to find and discover your ancestors. Now that you're connected to Family Search, 
you will want to watch video number 10 on how to search and find ancestors using catalogs and old books located in FamilySearch. Thank you for watching. See you in video number 10.